go first welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to get rid of that takeaway when the club just gets thrown inside so let's see the really easiest drill you can do to get rid of that takeaway and to get some straight shots on your golf game let's see how an inside takeaway works and how it's going to affect the swing so we have about 130 meters to the flag and that means that i need to hit an eight iron so we're gonna figure out how to make the inside takeaway and then how that affects the downswing because that is really important we call an inside takeaway when the club gets further back than my hands during the takeaway and then from there the whole swing is going to be a bit more difficult to do because it's going to require to do some compensations to bring the club back onto the swing plane to actually make contact with the golf ball That is how a swing with an inside takeaway looks like and you can see how over the top I was coming during the downswing. The ball flew very high, looks like he had lots of backspin and he actually flew shorter than my normal shot with an 8. Now let's have a look at the slow motion video of that shot. When I was taking the club back, you can observe that the club is getting very quick behind the hands. That means to have an inside takeaway. Whenever that happens, the takeaway is a motion created with the hands. Then we put an extra twist on the club and that's going to throw the club inside. In the downswing, you can see that I'm coming a bit over the top. Even though I managed to make the ball to start straight towards the target, you can see that it actually starts to curve now to the right. So now we know how the inside takeaway looks like. Let's have a look how to get rid of it. If the hands are working too much or they are a bit too active during the takeaway, because we know the backswing is somewhere behind us, what our brain is going to do is going to turn the forearms and the hands in a way that it brings the club inside. So that means that the hands are a bit too active during this part of the swing. What actually happens if now my forearms are pointing towards my bag, as I'm turning my hands, the forearms are actually turning as well. And that actually causes the club to be thrown inside. Now, if, if I would just actually turn my chest to the impact position, you can see now the, how open the club face is. And this is how we generate the high ball flight with really high spin because the club face is so open through the shot. So, we managed to throw the club inside by turning our forearms this way. So whenever we turn that, then the club gets inside quite a lot. You can also observe that my hands position are actually turning as I'm taking the club back. So you see now, basically that my thumbs are pointing somewhere behind me, but if I would have a normal takeaway, then the thumbs are actually still pointing towards the ball to target line. So this is how we manage to get the club inside. It's just how much forearm rotation we have during the takeaway and then how active as well the hands are. So these two are most of the time working together. Now we're going to try a drill that is going to give you instant feedback and it's going to feel very weird if you're using too much hands in the takeaway. You could see in that video how much the forearms are paying a part into the takeaway. So if the forearms are not rotating, then we're gonna have really big success with creating a nice takeaway. So how I would like you to get practicing this takeaway is going to be in the following way. So I just have a few golf balls and I'm gonna put the ball on the tee and I'm gonna leave it quite high because it's gonna be a bit tricky to hit the balls with this drill. So, we're gonna grip the club normal with the lead hand, but I want you to grip with the trail hand all the way at the base of the grip. So there is a big gap between the hands. Now, when you do this drill, you're gonna see that if you bring the hands in, 
gonna feel very unnatural and you're gonna feel how the right hand pulls the club as well inside. So if I do in a bad way, it feels so wrong actually. So it's gonna be very easy for you to really realize how much the club gets inside when you do this. If we do the drill in a correct way, so I'm basically keeping my thumbs towards the ball to target line. In this way, you're gonna see that actually the hands are not doing anything. The forearms are staying in exactly the same position throughout the takeaway and there's no extra twist on the shaft, so there's no extra pressure on it. Whenever we do the wrong one, I can actually feel like a, the weight of the club is thrown behind me and then I compensate with the grip going this way. So it's a very obvious sensation that the club gives you when you have such a split grip doing this drill. So once again, keeping my thumbs towards that line and trying to not put any twist on the club by rotating my hands or forearms. So if you're paying attention to my hands now, you can see they are basically staying in the same position. They are not rotating because when I have an inside takeaway, most of the time I'm gonna open a lot the club face and that's gonna result in those shots to the right. So I have a pretty good sensation now for the takeaway and how that should move. Now we'll get to the golf ball. I know it's teed up fairly high, but we don't really care about contact now. I just want you to have a sensation for doing a takeaway and then just having a small follow through after the ball. So let's just have a look how that works. And we can see the ball actually started straight and in this way I didn't put a twist. Now let's try the drill in a wrong way. So when I'm trying to bring the club inside. So you see how much more right the ball goes when the club gets inside because there's you need to do so much more to actually compensate for the club face but you don't have the time to do that. So this drill is going to give you the right amount of feedback when you're hitting the golf balls and when you're doing the rehearsal without the ball. And you see the ball again just started straight and I'll just hit the last one as well. So already by now I have a pretty pretty good sensation for what we should do. And you can see now all the balls are going straight and there's not too much going into that little motion. So the forearms are basically just staying straight or facing towards my, my bag or the ball to target line at all time. That was the drill that I wanted to try. So you're gonna hit a few shots with the takeaway only and then we're gonna see how that translates into the swing. Now I have one more golf ball. Let's have one more takeaway practice where I feel the hands are staying in the same position. Now I'm gonna slide the, the trail hand up I'm gonna do one more rehearsal. Now I'm gonna have a better sensation for the takeaway, how that actually feels without using the hands to move the club. Now let's have a full practice thing. So takeaway, that was good. Now takeaway in swing. And now let's see how close to the flag we can put this ball. The split grip is going to help you with your takeaway and that's for sure. It's gonna give you the right amount of feedback and it's gonna give you the sensations, the correct sensations you need into the takeaway. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a comment in the comment box below, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week at The Solution Golf.